Hello and welcome, this is Srinidhi and you're watching Peace News International, starting with the headlines. A program on the subject, The Art and Science of Human Connection, was held in New York. BK Jana invited to interview Tom Bond. The Brahma Kumari's Kulun Center convened various programs in Hong Kong. BK Yogesh addressed these events. Now the news in detail. A program on the art and science of human connection was organized at Deepak's home base in New York. Bika Jenna, the director of Brahma Kumari's Meditation Museum in Washington, D.C., was specially invited to converse with and interview Mr. Tom Bond, the founder and director of Education NYC NVC. This event was held to celebrate Tom's new publication, The Compassion Book. The program was a combination of storytelling practical exercises and conscious conversation under the selected subject. It's a conscious shift with so many folks. I think many of you in the room have realized it's never been easy to change anyone's mind. But we do come to some foregone conclusion that the only person that needs changing is me. So now looking at the Compassion book, um, what are some of the things that you engineered that helped us to really say, I think I can change me and build my compassion level more. There's a human dynamic. There's something that we all experience. And that is, uh, and this is the thing that Marshall figured out. Um, when we genuinely see one another's needs and see our own needs, it changes everything. It changes what we're capable of. And, to that place, Tom, so, to see each other's yeah, needs. Yeah, well, this is the thing. It, it really is a mindfulness, mindfulness exercise, mm -hmm. right? Where we're going to say, what am I going to choose to think about? And why am I even going to choose to think about that? And can I even choose to think about something? A lot of us don't even realize that. You can actually choose what you think about. The Kowloon Center in Hong Kong organized a program on inner stability in times of uncertainty. This event was specially held for the Turkish community and was addressed by VK Yogesh, the coordinator of Ramakumaris in Turkey. Representatives of the Turkish community included eminent members, business leaders and people holding prominent positions in the education field. Thereafter, BK Yogesh guided a retreat, especially for BK members at Kulain Resort in Makor, Special Administrative Region. Several spiritual activities and meditation sessions were uniquely designed under the topic, A Bridge to Your Angel. The things that I'm doing wrong, first I want to know what I'm doing wrong. Whether it's in my attitude or it's in my manner or my words, whatever my weaknesses are, I want to see them and become aware of them. I want to shift that into my learning box. And as you continue to learn and work on that, then you overcome that weakness and you change it into a strength. And as I continue to practice that skill over and over again in my life, it then enters my magic box. It becomes natural to me. It's like, you know, a pure, a positive talent, a sense scar you have built up. Apart from this, BK Yogesh conducted a workshop at KPMG Company on ensuring success amidst constant change. He also discussed the true role of youth in society at the Kowloon Center. The director of the Brahma Kumaris in Germany, BK Sudesh, was on a spiritual tour of Malaysia. At the Asia Retreat Center, many senior members, as well as BK Mira, the director of Brahma Kumaris in Malaysia, extended a warm welcome. Many programs were organized during her stay, including the 5th Asian BK Retreat Center, held under the theme, Invoking the Final Stage. Nearly 120 teachers participated from Indonesia, Sri Lanka, Hong Kong, Vietnam, Thailand, Cambodia, and Singapore. The retreat was inaugurated by lighting of lamps 
by BK Sudesh and representatives from participating countries. The retreat had a variety of programs, including a workshop on the final stage, an interview and meditation sessions. Many participants enjoyed the silence, which enabled them to have a deeper experience, understanding and realization of the Self. To experience the awakening of the lost honor of the soul, to let go of the old and welcome a newness full of God's unconditional love, true peace and unlimited happiness, a program was organized by the Brahma Kumaris in Nigeria. The significance of Easter during the Easter celebration was highlighted. The event took place at the Lighthouse in Lagos, Nigeria and was graced by the chief guest, Archbishop Mataya. BK Gautami, Brahma Kumari's coordinator in Nigeria, elucidated the spiritual significance of the event. The program included a musical presentation by King Jesse Buga and was concluded by shared insights from prominent dignitaries. Now news from the Philippines. A program on the topic self-care and meditation was organized by the Brahma Kumaris in collaboration with the Department of Social Welfare and Development, especially for social workers from different department sections, units in Talcoban, Philippines. BK Becky, a senior Raj Yoga teacher, was specially invited to address the session. Furthermore, a program on the theme Karma and Silence was convened, especially for BK members. The workshops were held under the guidance of B.K. Jonathan and B.K. John Lewis. B.K. Rani also conducted activities. B.K. Nipa, senior Raja Yoga teacher from Jinja, met the President of Uganda, His Excellency Yoweri Museni, who specially arrived to inaugurate the factories of Maganbhai and Prabhaben in Jinja, Uganda. B.K. Nipa was also invited to conduct pause for peace meditation after the event. At the event, BK Nipa also conversed with senior government officials and managing director of Cotton Development Organization, Madam Jolly Sabine. Thank you very much for watching Peace News International and have a great day ahead. Bye for now and Om Shanti.